CBS 21 Political Insiders with Rob Hanrahan. Welcome back. We're joined by our political insiders, Democratic strategist Mark Single and Republican strategist Charlie Giroux. Guys, thanks for being with me. Um, the president called the special counsel today, Robert Mueller, a prosecutor gone rogue. However, late today, Charlie, um, the special prosecutor says that uh, he thinks that Paul Manafort should, uh, the deal's off the table, he should just go to jail. Well, he may get that. I mean, the deal appears to be off the table. Uh, you know, there's an awful lot of speculation about what's going on. That's We're soon going to know for case. sure. I think the speculation needs to be ramped way back. But Paul Manafort's got a problem. Paul, Paul Manafort's got a problem. Papadopoulos has a problem. Michael Cohen has a problem. And I think the president creates problems for himself by speaking out the way he does. Let's just see where this investigation goes. Um, we're all waiting with bated breath to see what exactly Bob Mueller has. And I think winner's coming, but we're all just speculating. You think it's close to an end, Charlie? I mean, this I do. So I mean, long. look, the yeah. president has submitted his answers. It's been an inordinate amount of time. I think everybody wants to see this wrapped up. Even Mark Single just said so. Yeah, I do want to see it wrapped up. But uh, I also think that Mueller has done the right thing by keeping it close to the vest. We really don't know what he knows. We don't know what he has. Uh, but he's methodical, and my guess is that this is going to be serious stuff. And it is important uh, to note, just, just before we go away, that the Manafort plea agreement had nothing to do with Donald Trump. This is all activity that took place before he was associated with the Trump mm -hmm. campaign. Oh. They're bringing up we'll Julian see. Assange. They're bringing up a lot of different well, things that in this would have. Deal. But again, a lot okay. of speculation there. Let's talk a little bit about our southern border with Mexico. Uh, that clash over the weekend, the president defending the use of tear gas. Charlie, the, the right stance to take down there? You know, it's very, very difficult when you have these mobs rushing the border. Barack Obama instituted the tear gas plan, used it multiple times, 70 or 80 times during the course of his presidency, and you didn't hear this great hue and cry because it's a non-lethal means of dealing with a problem. And he had nothing compared to what the Trump administration is facing right now. There is a right way to come into this country, and there is a wrong way. And for those of us that came in the right way, we really want to see folks do it the right way. Go to ports of entry, seek asylum in the proper means, don't rush the border because it needs to be defended and it will be. Mark, they, give you a short amount of time because I want to get to Kathleen Kane. Right. The president is creating a war zone where it really isn't. He said that there were 500 serious criminals, not a shred of evidence to that effect. He said three of the border guys were hurt. They were not. So I think we have to take a step back and realize what we're dealing with here. I don't like seeing little kids tear gassed. I'll tell you that. Okay, well, I wanted to get a question into you, Mark, about Kathleen Kane, the former attorney general, <coughs> probably going off to, or not probably. turning herself in <laughs> to uh, county jail in Montgomery County Thursday morning. Um, boy, at one point, she was considered yeah. possibly the next governor of Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's really a tragic political story for Pennsylvania. She really was a rising star and a very bright and engaging woman. Uh, but uh, she overstepped. Uh, she, she came into office and she made some mistakes and she wasn't very adept uh, at uh, pulling herself back from that abyss. And now she's paying the price. Did that hurt the Democrats in Pennsylvania? I don't think it hurt the Democrats, but it certainly hurt the office. She did a lot more than make mistakes. She committed crimes, and that's why she's going to jail. And she left the office of attorney general in a shambles. And I will give Josh Shapiro, a Democrat, credit for restoring the integrity to that office and restoring a semblance of order to the processes that need to take place over there, and hopefully for getting politics out of the criminal justice system. All right, I'll leave it on at that good note. Uh, you can hear more from our political insiders every Sunday morning on CBS 21's Face the State at 8.30.